Amy Robach and TJ Holmes, hosts for GMA3, have been fired amid a sensational affair scandal. The two will no longer conduct their daily show at 1 p.m., as revealed by ABC News President Kim Godwin on Monday during an internal call. Godwin also said on the call that the claimed relationship had become too much of an internal and external distraction, and that everyone had agreed that the two should part ways. TJ Holmes, however, has not taken this well, and he has retaliated angrily and with a decently strong reaction. Here are the details. Shocked insiders at a BC called for an immediate dismissal of GMA3 co-hosts Amy Robach and TJ Holmes in the wake of the news that their on-screen chemistry and well-known friendship have stepped the line into an open relationship. Not to mention that on Wednesday, DailyMail.com broke the exclusive news of the couple's secret romance and disclosed that the liaison had cost both of the co-hosts' marriages. The CEO of a BC's parent company, Disney, Bob Iger, has also recently been requested to intervene, according to Network Insiders. The Good Morning America anchors, who have been taken off the air in the wake of their romance surfacing, were spotted taking a stroll together through Manhattan on Thursday, in photos obtained by the Daily Mail. One insider even told DailyMail.com that Disney must intervene and act in this situation. Our network caters to families, and these two don't represent Disney's or family values. Bob Iger needs to step up and fire them both, they continued. Additionally, staffers have also expressed the need to question ABC News President Kim Godwin about how anything like this could have happened under her watch. Further evidence of the duo's close relationship came from a set of exclusive images that were released on Wednesday. The photos showed the couple enjoying outings in the city and commuting to and from each other's houses all throughout the month of November. On the other hand, Godwin has not yet issued a formal statement regarding the affair, but it has been informed that she was not made aware of it. Whereas, Hose adamantly denied the relationship, according to the statement ABC gave to DailyMail.com when the outlet initially contacted them for comment. It didn't seem to dawn on him until after the shocking images were made public that his plan of denying the reality was doomed to failure. Holmes was then seen hosting the show's noon section by himself many hours later. Funny, all right. It's unclear, though, whether this was always the intention or if the network, which is currently trying to come up with a damage control plan, hurriedly reshot the episode. Holmes did, however, seem uneasy and tense. Then, on Thursday, when Holmes and Robach both made their first joint appearance on the program, once again, they carried on as usual, making no mention of Amy's absence the day before their romance. Both were not donning their wedding band either, which made the viewers even more resentful of the two. According to reports, ABC's handling of the situation and the co-host's lack of response was appalling and hugely embarrassing for the network staff members. In contrast, the staff members and other related individuals, they expressed how ABC can just sweep this under the rug and pretend nothing happened is insane. We are a family-friendly network. Two families have been destroyed here by their behavior and now they can just get on with their jobs, throw their wedding rings in the trash and pretend nothing has happened. Bob Iger is such a family man and we're waiting for him to step in and do something. It's hugely embarrassing and shameful for the network. Bob Iger can't like this at all. We feel he needs to come to New York and sort out management. Looks like Holmes and Roebuck are just out there pretending like nothing happened when they have clearly made so many people unhappy with their actions. In fact, neither Holmes, Roebuck, nor ABC have issued any statements to the media. However, a second ABC insider who spoke to DailyMail.com acknowledged that while the connection was not kept a secret from other ABC employees, the news of it had surprised them. The couple's connection has been said to be in violation of ABC's morality rule. The Sun was consequently able to acquire a stipulation from their multi-million dollar contracts that mandates performers act at all times with appropriate regard to public morals and conventions. Additionally, it forbids any conduct that can cause public shame, contempt, scandal, or ridicule. According to other sources close to the channel, the workforce has also been outraged and appalled by how the scandal has interrupted the newsroom. Many staff members sorrow for Robach and Holmes' husbands of 12 years, former Melrose Place actor Andrew Hsu and lawyer Marilee Phoebe adds to the sense of shock. Viewers are also quite surprised by the couple's blatant attempt to dismiss the drama on Twitter. Take a look at how the general public feels about the affair. One user expressed, GMA fans slam shows upsetting treatment of TJ Holmes and Amy Robach after their affair and suggest simple solution. Golix, you may have the woke slamming GMA but families with family values are appalled by their action. They need to be terminated or boycotts will follow. Whereas, another user exclaimed, GMA sounds more and more like the morning news show on Apple+. Plus. Co-anchors TJ Holmes and Amy Robach have been yanked off the air for having a love affair the past six months. Both are married to other people. No need to watch Apple Plus now. Another one stated, One expert says TJ Holmes and Amy Robach are delusional if they don't realize that their affair could end their careers at a BC and beyond. Additionally, according to sources cited by DailyMail.com, the controversy has reportedly disrupted production. 
Thursday's GMA Morning Show was supposed to feature Holmes in place of host Michael Strahan, but ABC ultimately decided against it. The hosts even opened the broadcast with small conversation and then swiftly went on to new subjects, avoiding addressing the relationship in an effort to display a united front amid the scandal. After news of romantic relationship, Joe Benitez and Stephanie Ramos replaced these two on air and had slightly mentioned romance between Robach and Holmes. The romantic pair had not violated any rules, but ABC News quoted the matter had become an internal and external disruption, and they wanted to do what was best for the organization. For the remainder of the hour though, the program continued as usual, with Robach and Holmes even hosting a segment on Christmas baking without Ashton. The 45-year-old Holmes, who has been wed to his lawyer wife Marilee Thiebig since 2010, further appeared on Thursday's show for the first time without his wedding band. Additionally, other news outlets have reported that Robach, who is wed to actor Andrew Hsu, has stopped wearing her wedding band lately. Despite rumors to the contrary, it has been learned that Amy and Andrew have sought mediation. Hsu, 55, has kept quiet about the information that his estranged wife is seeing Holmes, but he has now removed all of his Robach images from his social media accounts. Since they initially connected as co-hosts of the well-liked morning show's third hour in 2020, Robach and Holmes have made no secret of their growing friendship over the past few months. However, sources told another news outlet that W. Hen TJ and Amy were filming filming the Queen's Diamond Jubilee for a BC in London together in June of this year. If not earlier, workers were buzzing about the familiarity between them. Shortly after the shocking news was released, both journalists deleted their social media accounts, however Nader has addressed their involvement. It appeared that Robach was already aware of the rumors about her marriage before she deleted her Instagram account this past Wednesday. Not to forget, after observant fans pointed out her missing wedding ring in pictures and her missing husband, who was last mentioned on her profile in August, the TV star blocked comments on all her posts. That being said, people reported that the couple didn't begin dating until after they had both amicably ended their marriages on December 1st, the day the story went viral. For many of their supporters, this news may have softened the impact of the scandal, but it is still damage control after the fact. We probably won't ever find out how true this version of the events is. However, Robach and Holmes are currently benefiting from this one-sided story, but it might also backfire because other allegations have already emerged that Holmes had numerous adulterous relationships over the years with various GMA staff members, including a three-year connection with a producer. That hardly qualifies as a happily ever after, and it may substantially alter how we talk about the relationship, turning it from a narrative of soulmates meeting on set to a warning about repeated sexual encounters in the workplace. The other significant element in this case is maybe more difficult to understand, but just as significant. Robach and Holmes are still journalists first and foremost, notwithstanding any flirtation they engage in on set, their public purpose is not to amuse. Their jobs are determined by what they do while they are hosting live network broadcasts, which is a relatively constrained and little window through which to develop parasocial connections with their audience. While that's it, do share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. For now, that's all. However, don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.